All right. Can I see the parties on Daniel Flores? All right. Uh, I will walk you through the plea. Court is calling 2021 CR 9660. I'm sorry, you're all going to have to be quiet behind the court reporter. You can move down there. Court is calling 2021 CR 9660, State of Texas versus Daniel Flores. Can I have parties announced for the record for the state? Ruben Herrera for the state. Defense. Bridget Gossip for defense. Are you Mr. Flores? Yes, all right, counsel, have you received all the discovery and did you review that discovery with your client? Yes, Your Honor. Court will find that the state is in compliance with discovery. Showing you what's entitled true bill of indictment. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Counsel, do you waive the reading of the indictment? Yes, Your Honor. State, are you requesting to amend the indictment? Uh, yes. Yes, Your yes. Honor. Thank you. All right. Defense, have you had a chance to review the uh, state's request for the amendment of the indictment? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Flores, do you understand that the indictment as amended is a substantive change to the indictment? Yes. And do you understand that your attorney has 10 days to prepare for a trial with a substantive change? Yes. Knowing that, do you still wish to proceed? Yes. State? My understanding is that you're proceeding on count seven. Is that correct? That's correct, Your Honor. Mr. Flores, I'm showing you what's entitled court admonishments and defendants waivers and affidavit of admonitions. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes, And Your Honor. did you sign it in all the appropriate places? Yes, Excuse me, could you do a file stamp on that, please? Did you understand in count seven, you're charged with the offense of indecency with a child by exposure? That's a third degree felony. The range of punishment is anywhere from two to 10 years in prison and up to a $10,000 fine. Did you understand? Yes, Your Honor. If you have a plea bargain agreement with the state, the court does not have to follow your plea. If for any reason the court doesn't follow your plea and gives you more than you bargained for, the fact that you entered a plea will not be used against you and you will be allowed to withdraw your plea. Did you understand? Yes, Your Honor. Did you understand you have a right to jury trial, a right for you or your attorney to cross-examine and confront any witnesses the state would call in the right to remain silent? Yes, Your Honor. Did you understand by entering this plea bargain agreement you were giving up those rights? Yes. And did you intend to give up those rights and enter into a plea in this case? Yes. Did you understand if the court were to grant your application for deferred adjudication, if for any reason your deferred adjudication were revoked, the court could find you guilty and sentence you up to 10 years in the prison? Yes, Your Honor. Counsel, has your client been able to provide you with any defenses? Yes, Your Honor. Do you believe he has a rational as well as a factual understanding of the charges against him? Yes, Your Honor. Do you believe he's currently competent and was legally sane at the time of the offense? Yes. Mr. Flores, has anyone threatened you, coerced you, or placed you in fear to get you to enter this plea? No, Your Honor. Has anyone promised you anything other than the plea? No, Your Honor. Are you satisfied with the way you've been represented? Of course, Your Honor. Are you a U.S. citizen? Yes, Your Honor. Court will find that defendant has knowingly and voluntarily waived his right to jury trial, showing you the plea bargain page. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes, Your Honor. According to the plea, the state is proceeding on count seven, indecency with a child by exposure. There's a $1,500 fine. State recommends deferred adjudication. There's to be restitution, if any, to the complainant for medical and uh, mental health expenses. And there's to be chapter 62 registration and no contact with the complainant. Did you understand that to be the plea? Yes, Defense? Yes. State? Yes. Outside the agreement, the state is requesting that your deferred adjudication be for a term of five years. Did you understand that was a recommendation from the state and the court does not have to follow that recommendation? Yes, Your Honor. Then to the offenses charged in count seven, how do you plead guilty, not guilty, or no contest? No contest. State, any evidence? State offers states have been one in all of its questions. Any objection? No objections, Your Honor. Court will find that defendant has knowingly and voluntarily waived and consented to stipulation of testimony and stipulations. Court will accept into evidence states exhibits one and attachments and review the same. All right, after reviewing states exhibits one and attachments, the court will find there is sufficient evidence to find you guilty. Uh, why should I accept this plea? Has anyone spoken with the complainant? Yes, Your Honor. 
Thank you for the statement. We have um, spoken to the victim. Um, she, well, I can say that in conferring with, with Ms. Garza, she has provided me a lot of materials. Um, I think ultimately, I don't, to be frank, she's not happy with the agreement, Your Honor, but I think given everything that Ms. Garza has shown me and um, other factors that came up about not conferring, uh, this is the best result. Judge, there is, there was a lot of, the reason why we came to this resolution is because there is a lot of issues with the complainant. Um, that is why um, the state of Texas and I came to this resolution. Um, it was going to be a difficult case for the state of Texas because of the complainant, because of the issues that the complainant has. So this was the best resolution for the state and for us. Okay. All right. Do you have any children? No, ma'am. Who do you live with? My mom. Are you employed? Yes, ma'am. What do you do? I do landscaping. Landscaping, I'm telling you, landscaping is the new West Telemarketing. <laughs> All right. Eight years deferred adjudication. There's a $1,500 fine. That will be probated. If you're drug tested today, what are the results going to be? Be dirty. For what? Marijuana. When's the last time you use? Mm, just the other day. Why are you coming before the court and you're using drugs? That's a question. It's not rhetorical. It's a question. I'm I sorry? Have, I have a lot of anxiety and stuff. So. There should be no contact with the complainant. There's to be restitution to the complainant for any medical expenses. That includes mental health expenses as well. Chapter 62, registration. I'm going to want uh, the UA hotline and for him to be tested for levels. You're not allowed to use marijuana. It's illegal in Texas. When you're on probation, their conditions are you cannot use marijuana or any type of controlled substance without a prescription. And you're not allowed to drink alcohol while you're on probation in Texas. You understand? There's to be regular reporting. Uh, he's to be monitored by the sex offender unit. Uh, probation, is there anything else? All right, proof of employment within 45 days. There's to be no employment as a home health care or with minors, and there's to be no contact with minors. Is there anything else you need from the court? None. Showing you what's entitled trial court certification of defendant's rights to appeal. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes, I'm going to do it. Because this is a plea bargain agreement, because I followed your plea bargain agreement, and because you waived your right to appeal, you do not have the court's permission to appeal. Do you understand? Yes. All right, we can go off the record. This is something you need to understand. Children cannot consent to any type of sexual contact. You know why? Because they're children. And you as an adult, I don't care if you're 21, 22, whatever age you are, Texas says that you're an adult. You understand? Yes, Your Honor. And calling some child over and over on their cell phone, that was a horrible thing to do. And did this take place at your mom's house? Yes, Your Honor. You don't even have your own place and you're bringing nonsense to your mom's house. If you have any contact with children, you are looking at 10 years in the prison. Do you understand? Yes, Your Honor. If you violate any conditions, you're looking at 10 years in the prison. Do you understand? Yes, Your Honor. From here on out, everything you do, including smoking marijuana, you need to ask yourself, is this something that could potentially result in me going to prison for 10 years? 
If the answer is yes, do not do it. If the answer is maybe, do not do it. Do you understand? Yes, Johnny. All right, good luck to you. All right, we're back on the record in 2021 CR 9660, State of Texas versus Daniel Renee Flores. Could I have the parties reannounced for the record, please, for the state? Zach Dunn for the state. Defense? Todd Lester for Mr. Flores. All right, are you Mr. Flores? All right. So, defense, the court is going to show you uh, the order of deferred adjudication and the amended order of deferred adjudication. The amended order reflects the charge that he's on deferred adjudication for. And I want you to review that and state if you'll review that and if there are any objections to that order being entered. So there is no objection to the amended order state? No objection, Your Honor. Defense? None, Your Honor. Uh, Mr. Flores, do you have any objections to the amended order? No, Your Honor. All right. All right. So defense has pled true to violation of 22A. Is that correct? That is correct, Your Honor. All right. And state, are you waiving the other violations? Yes, Your Honor. And, and um, just for specificity's sake. I believe there's two 22 A's and we're just having them plead true to the very first one and then state would waive and abandon all of the others, Your Honor. Any objection? None, Your Honor. All right, did you understand by pleading true to violation 22 A, the court could find it true, grant the motion, find you guilty, sentence you up to 10 years in prison and up to $10,000 fine? Yes, Your Honor. Knowing that, do you still wish to plead true to violation of 22A? Yes, Your Honor. Court will find 22A true. Is there a proposed agreement? There is, Your Honor. And what are you all requesting? Uh, judge, the, uh, the I understand probation is, is recommending state ISF cognitive, and we believe that would be appropriate in the situation. Yeah, absolutely. All right. So what is the issue? Mr. Flores, you want to raise your right hand for me? Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you give will be the truth and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Yes, Your Honor. All right, you can lower your hand. State your name for the record. Daniel Flores. All right, so what is the issue? Why are you not doing what you're supposed to do? I had deleted the Facebook, but I didn't deactivate it fully. Why is that? I just, I just deleted it like out of my phone. Because I would, had deleted it with the probation officer right there, like the whole app with her. And I just didn't go, like, I never went back to deactivate it. I just deleted the app. So are you saying you deleted the app when? When you were placed on probation or after? When I was placed on probation and she had went through my phone and asked me if I had it. And I said, yes, I had it. And we had deleted it from there. But I never deactivated it fully. All right. So the question is... Is there any evidence that he has been using Facebook? Past that or, or what the exact nature of the social media is, Your Honor, the state does not have further information. All right. Probation? Oh, is this your recommendation? All right. And I will tell both parties, I do remember this case, and I know there are some cognitive issues that are going on. All right, the court will deny the motion. Alternate main conditions for IS. Well, here's the thing. Is there a reason we're doing ISF cognitive if the issue is one, he deleted his cell, I mean, he de deleted his Facebook um, app with the probation officer. The probation officer showed him how to delete it. He deleted it. And I know with regards to this defendant, I remember this case, there are some cognitive issues going on with him. Why are we doing ISF? Are we doing it for punishment? Or is there something else? Judge, it's my understanding that in, in relation to the, the 
totality of the motion that the state put in front of you. Uh, we are pleading true to that one allegation. However, it is kind of a, it's a, it's a punishment, really. Okay. Judge. All right. And and you're still in our oak. Do you live uh, at home by yourself or with someone else? I was living with when I was when I got on probation, I was staying with my tia. So where are you living now? I mean, have you been living with your no. aunt? No, ma'am. Okay, where had you been living? I was well, yeah, when I had yes, I was staying with my aunt. All right. But then I have there was issues at the house that the probation officer wanted me my aunt to do. And she didn't want to do all that, so I started looking for a place, and, and that's when I had got the ATR. All right. Because I see in here that there is a placement of Halloween decorations. Yes, there was a. Yeah, my probation officer had said something about that, and it was just a little funky, and I didn't even notice it either. Okay. All right. Do you have a place to stay? Right. No. No, I do not. All right. All right, we'll alternate them in for ISF then. And make sure you let them know that you don't have a place to stay so that they can start working on perhaps finding a place for you to stay. That's the, that was the really, that's the really issue with the place to stay. That's the really issue because where I, where I live for most of my life, where I live for most of my life, there's a school right behind it. All right. With my mom. So when I got on probation, I was at the Haven for over two weeks, and then my dad offered to take me in her place, and the probation officer went by, and she wanted all this stuff to get took me down by the, from the house, and my but my dad just didn't want to go through with it. So all I started right. looking for a place after that, but it's hard to look for a place right now. So this is what we're going to do. You're going to go to ISF, make sure you let them know, and let probation know that you do not have a place to stay, and then uh, what we will do is if things don't work out with probation, you still don't have a place to stay, you can come back to the court and let us know and we'll see what we can do. Can I? Um... <laughs> Attorneys will always tell you stop while you're ahead. All right, but you know, if there's an issue, you can come back to the, this court, you understand? Yes, ma'am. All right, good luck to you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.